can't see failure until you quit. Amen. And you know, as I pondered this topic, I just thought about just some questions. Have, have you ever thought about times when you just felt like you couldn't make it? We've all experienced times when we just felt like, you know, I just don't have the strength. I just can't endure another tragedy. If something else happens to me, I just don't know what I'm going to do. Wow. I can't bear another burden. I can't yes. handle another disappointment. Wow. I can't solve another problem. Wow. I won't survive another sorrow. Yes. I just can't yes. take it can't take anymore. It. Yeah. Is there anybody here other yeah. than me yeah. that have felt like that in their life? Yeah. Yeah. But I want you to know this morning that you can't see failure mm -hmm. until you quit. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm reminded of some words in Philippians 3, chapter 12 through 14 from the Apostle Paul. And he said, not as though I have already attained. I, I'm yeah. not there yet. I, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, I, yeah. I'm not trying to say I've arrived yet. Not that I've already attained. Either uh, were already perfect. But I, I follow after if that I may apprehend yeah. that for which I am also apprehended mm -hmm. of Christ. He, he said, brethren, I count myself not to have apprehended. Uh -huh. But there's one thing uh -huh. that I do. Uh -huh. you know, I might not get it right all the time. There's some stuff I don't do right. But there, yeah. there is one thing. That, that I get right. He said, I press. I press toward the mark of the high calling of Christ in of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. The Apostle Paul, you know we've all heard of the Apostle Paul. The Apostle Paul, he had the right birth. He was born in the lineage, the right lineage. I mean, right. you know some people, you know, they got the name, they got the birth, right? They were born into the right family. Yeah. You know, I don't know about you, but I, I wasn't born in the right family. So, you know, I can relate to Paul. I, I got to press sometime. I, I just don't know about you. But, you know, Paul had the right lineage. He, he had the right social status. And, you know, we know some people that are all of that. All of that. You know, they're all of that. But, you know, I didn't have the right social status when I when I was growing up there. The Apostle Paul, he had the right heritage. He, yeah. he had religious zeal. I, yeah. I, I got a little bit of zeal. I'm working on that zeal. He, he had the knowledge, praise God, and, and he had the right morality as he sought to be victorious in Christ Jesus. Yeah. But through it all, the Apostle Paul realized that he was far from being all that Christ yeah. wanted him to That's be. Right. He was right. far from that. And, and so he said, I, I got to press. Yeah. As believers, we must actively pursue the perfection like a runner who is running a race and steadily pressing, pushing, thrusting forward with haste to win the prize. Yes. Realizing that there's no time to wait. There's no time to lose. There is no time to quit because you can't see failure That's right. yeah. until you quit. You know, oftentimes we have little control over what happens to us, but we can control how we respond. Yeah. Uh, do I need to say that one more time? So, you know, sometimes we can't control what happens to us, but we can control how the outcome will be, how we choose to respond to what happens. There's some things in life that we simply cannot explain. There's just no real logical explanation for it. I mean, can I, can I get a witness on it? It just doesn't make any sense to us. There are some questions in life that we will never be able to answer. There are certain things in life that we will never be able to change. You know, we just have to deal with it. There are certain things that we're not even responsible for that happens to us, but they happen to us anyway. But we cannot see failure until we quit. Certain things we can't stop certain things in life that we can't even control. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, right. All of us are going to go through some tough times. Yes. All of us are going to have some problems. Yes. See, you know, various problems, physical, mental, emotional, psychological, right. marital, right. children. Yes. And the list yes. goes yes. on and on and on yes. and on and on. Yes. And sooner yes. or later, yes. all of us are going to experience some challenges yes. in our life. Yes. We can't get around it. But if I can give you a word of encouragement, uh -huh. yes. Yes. we are kingdom dwellers yes. Come on now. here on the earth. When I got a hold of that thing, I got excited. I got excited about that because once we became saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, we became heirs to the kingdom of God in the here and now. We don't have to wait till we get to heaven. We can, we can praise God right now. I mean, we can, we can you know, uh, 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 enjoy the blessings of God right now. Right now. As citizens of earth, we're going to have some tests. We're going to have some
some storms and trials. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We should expect them. Expect right. Yes. I mean, right. you know, don't let it catch you blind. Expect right. it. Expect it's it. going to happen. Expect it. it shouldn't be foreign to us. Uh -huh. We should anticipate it with faith and confidence. Uh -huh. yes. Because if you already belong to Satan, he don't, you know, he don't even have to do anything to get you. You're already one of his. Because God says in his word that we will have trouble. Yeah. He didn't say we might, perhaps, we're maybe, we're you know, it might skip over us. Yeah. He said, no, no, no. Oh, we will yeah. have some trouble. Yeah. So expect it. But you can't experience failure until you win. We are kingdom dwellers here on the earth. Mm -hmm. We are heirs to the promises Thank of you. God right now. Uh -huh. right now. As ambassadors of the kingdom, mm -hmm. God isn't interested in how much faith you have. I, I, you know, somebody might argue with me on that. God isn't really interested in how much <laughs> faith you have. He's interested in where your faith where your is faith placed. Is yeah. 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 Because it is where when you say you can have the faith the brain of a mustard seed. Yeah. Yeah. Our motive for following him. Yes. 
You know, our faith shouldn't be based on what we can get from Jesus That's Christ. Right. Uh -huh. You know, God, I serve you, so I want That's this car, and I want this house, uh -huh. and I want this man, and all that. Look out, preacher. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Our faith should be based on Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ only. How strong is your faith? How strong is your faith? It's only as strong as the text that it survives. Wow. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And you know, we really have to really think about that thing. You know, it's a work in progress. You know, and I'm not saying that we get it right all the time because we're human. But we really have to examine ourselves. To thine own self be true. And you know really who you are. That's right. I mean, because the devil can trick us into believing that we're something that we're not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, it's so easy for us to say how good God is when things are going well. Yeah. Yeah. God is a good God. He's a blessing. Yeah. 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 It's easy.
reminds us to forget about the past. Mm -hmm. yes. You know how the devil do us. Uh, you know how the devil uh, uh, do us. Uh, when you used to do that, this, you think y'all this, you think you're safe, you think y'all this. Come on now. The Bible says, just forget about it. Paul, just forget about it. You know Paul, some of the stuff he did, killing all the Christians. Yeah. <laughs> but he, he reminds, we have to forget about the past. Yes. You know, maybe we have failed in the past. Mm -hmm. Maybe we have. I tell you, say maybe because all of us have. Right. One way or another. Maybe we've fallen short in the past. Uh -huh. You know, we've all fallen short. Yeah, absolutely. Move on. Move on. Move on. I mean, maybe I used to do this and that. Maybe I used to go there. there. Maybe I. Hey. I decided to follow Jesus. Hey. Now what? All right. Move on. Yeah. No turning no back. Turn back. Yeah. 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 I don't care what you say. I don't care. Right. You know how you try to hold. You know people try to hold your ass yeah. over yeah. your head. Yeah. You know, holding you hostage. Yeah. Unwilling to forgive you. Mm -hmm. Move on. Don't waste your time moaning and groaning over what coulda, shoulda, woulda been. My Lord. Move on. My, my, my. Paul right. says, forget those things which are behind it. Reach forward into those things which are before. Press, Press. Press. toward the mark. Yeah. Press. Yeah. Press. We have to press. This is a pressing way. There will always be responsibilities that we have to handle. Always, always, always. We're going to always go through some hard times. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Always. In conclusion, no preacher is a good preacher until he goes through some hard times. Oh, yeah. No evangelist is really good. Evangelist yeah. got to go through some hard times. Yeah. No Sunday school teacher is really a good one until they go through some hard times. Yeah. No singer is a good singer until they go through some hard times. Time. Just remember, you can't see failure until you quit because kingdom faith is not afraid of storms, trials, or That's tests. Right. Our faith and our hope is built and anchored on the construction code of heaven, which yes. gives us an insurance policy yes. that our foundation is the unmovable, yes. solid rock of the word of the king. Yes. Kingdom faith understands that present circumstances does not equal final reality. Yes. God yes. wants us to realize that he is still God. That's yes. right. And no weapon that's formed against yes. the is going to yes. yes. 